Hello, time people. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is a business reading for the fourth week of November. The week begins from the 22nd until the 29th. Now, this is a timeless reading. Um, if you have a question after this and the next year, two years from now, and it comes up in your feed, this is going to be the answers for you guys. It is a not timestamp, it's a timeless. So I want to say to you, Earth Sign people, thank you for coming in. Happy Thanksgiving to the people who are celebrating Thanksgiving on Thursday. I see a lot of conversation. A lot of you are going to be happy. Some sort of a good news is coming in on Thursday for a lot of you. And some of you who had applied for a job, I see an offer um, for a job is going to be over open for a lot of you Earth Sign people. So if a, a lot of you Earth Sign people was um um open for a job i see um this is going to be happening don't be worried about the cross the cross has uh, a lot of good energies around it that means is the end to some sort of a situation that was transpiring and a resolution because if you notice this week is about resolution i see people or trying to resolve some sort of a situation, a whole lot of positive news, but also money and extended business people money is going to be coming in. If you notice the diamond in Monday, Tuesday and Thursday, money is going to come in. Now, if you notice good news about a new contract is coming in and there was some sort of people where um, there could have been some sort of a communication about some sort of a situation. Um, and what is transpiring is that at end, uh, some of you could have been waiting, waiting, waiting to find out if uh, a position is going to be all open. If you're going to get a position, yes, you're going to get a position. The, um, the, um, the energy is that whenever there's one negative thing is the end. You're coming out of some sort of a negative situation that was transpiring around you. Um, uh, this is about, uh, a week where I see a lot of companies uh, are going to be, you know, bringing some sort of a good news to people. A lot of people who were worried whether or not their company was going to be surviving. It's about um, receiving some real positive news. So a lot of people are going to be happy in this week. Um, positive news. And what is ha happening is that some of you... Um, um, you are going to be, um, you know, coming out of some sort of a issue. Okay. This is about coming out of issue. Okay. So this situation, um, is going to be resolved. So let's say that there was some problems. It is going to be resolved. So, Let's look at the energy of the key. The energy of the key is that some of you could be receiving a new job um, and you receive your own office. Some of you could also be receiving a, a company car. Um, so some of you could be have to change your company car. The lease is up and you have to change your company car. But the key is always resolution. And I see with the re resolution, I see... Um, some of you could be having some sort of a situation over a contract that you are trying to re resolve. And I see a resolution is going to be coming in a Gemini. Um, or uh, yeah, could be helping some of you to resolve it. Okay. Then we see, um, on Tuesday, some sort of a, a unexpected luck is going to be coming in. A lot of you, you could have applied for to a company. You have never heard anything from this company. All of a sudden, on Tuesday, they call you up to say, hey, um, you know, how are you still looking for a job? We're hoping. And I see some of you are going to be really asking the question like, um, you know, what is the offer? Um, you know, what is the pay rate, the salary, contracts and that sort of a thing. So I see um, if you want to go and um, apply for a job, go Tuesday. Tuesday is a good term. Um, on Tuesday, it is good. Monday and Tuesday, it is good to go and apply for a job, especially Monday. Um, it is good to apply for a job. So, um, whenever the energy of the clove comes in, this is beautiful. Um, because if you notice, it is about balance. So some sort of a balance is going to be coming in. This is going to be a powerful week because you have number 33. 
whenever there's double numbers, double numbers are never broken down. Um, the energy of the key um, coming in is that whatever, something is going to be resolved on Monday. If some of you were going through some sort of an issue or so, on Monday it's going to be resolved. Now, Wednesday is the big key. New contract. Some of you were, um, you know, going to try to resolve some sort of a contract and that sort of a thing. Yes, it is now resolved and I see a new invitation is going to be coming in. So some of you could apply to a new company or it's going to be signing your contract on Wednesday or there was some sort of a situation in your contract clause or that sort of a thing. You asked to get it out and it is out. And a resolution is going to be coming in. So this is going to be good. So Wednesday is another day. So I can say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, it is going to be good for you guys. It doesn't really matter whether you're a business person or you're working in a company. Monday um, uh, issues is going to be resolved. Tuesday, I see some luck, unexpected um, job offer or business could be coming in. Wednesday, um you, some of you could be signing a contract or sending out some sort of a new contract. So business and that sort of a thing. Your contract has been extended. Um, whoever had issues with contract, a new contract is going to be um, extended to you. Then we, we see on Thursday, some of you could be home celebrating Thanksgiving. The rest of you, Thursday is also going to be a good a good day. A lot of you is going to be... Re, um, um, you know, someone is going to be calling if you had apply um, for a job and it's going to be communicating with you to ask you if you're hoping for a job opportunities. OK, so Monday, Tuesday, a lot of you, um, you know, people could be um, offering you a job position or a new job on Friday. I see the problems with a contract and some of you were dealing with is not going to be over. So a whole lot of you had some sort of issues with your business partner or um, with business partners, uh, some sort of a contract. Uh, um, there was some sort of a problem with a contract. It's as if uh, some of you had to make some changes in order for a contract to go through. Yes, it's going to be happening. And I see that um, a resolution is coming up uh, on Friday. So it is good. Some of you were going through some sort of a problem issues with some sort of a business situation or um, some some form of business issues, problems with um, your um, bosses or with your supervisor. Um, it is going to be resolved in this week. It doesn't have to be on Friday. It can be sometime in this week. It is definitely, definitely going to be resolved. So be open. For this, this is going to be a really wonderful, um, powerful week that is going to be coming up. And uh, whoever had issues and problems uh, um, where um, people were intervening in your world, this is going to be over. Some sort of a positive information is definitely going to be coming up for you, Earth Sign people. Um, then we see... Um, um, Whoever was trying to um, extend some sort of a um, business deal and that sort of a thing, it's going to be a yes, okay? So it's as if this week is a, is a week if you're applying or you're looking for investment, it is going to be the week for you guys to step out there and show yourself up, okay? So... Um, Capricorns, you have the energy of the moon. Okay. You do have the energy of the moon. Um, so listen to your own intuition in this week, Capricorns, whatever is going on, let go of worries and your fear. Understand the truth of a situation because some sort of a secrecy and some sort of, uh, yeah, secrecy or something, um, wasn't clear. Okay. And you need to listen and use your own intuition. So it's going to be a powerful week for you, Capricorns. Listen to your own intuition. That is what is going to be guiding you in this week. And let go of the worries and fear. Whatever you have that you're worried and fearful over, let go. Understand the truth of what is going on. And you're going to be receiving some sort of a message advising you of something that you were totally 
um, unaware of. It's like unexpected news and information is going to be coming in to you Capricorns that is going to be helping you so much and is going to be helping you to resolve uh, some sort of an issue and situation that was transpiring. It's as if... Uh, um, unexpectedly, some sort of information is going to be coming to you that is going to help you to resolve some sort of a work issue or issue that you are going through. And uh, um, you are going to be using this information. And also listen, some of you need to listen to your own intuition. You know, someone could be advising you of something, but listen to your own intuition. Let go of whatever the worries and fear is. A lot of you were dealing with some sort of a worries and fear over whether a contract is, it's going to be okay. Then we're looking at the Tauruses. Now, Tauruses, a whole lot of work is here in this week. You have the nine of spring. Okay. Protect the fruits of your labor, Taurus, whatever is transpiring in that, in some of you Taurus business people. Um, you need to be looking at your business more closely and protecting your business. Prepare for possible challenges, Tauruses, that lies ahead this week. So be aware. Environment conversation. So what is happening, Tauruses? Um, you could be having some challenges coming your way, but these challenges is going to be resolved. So you can see the energy of the cross. You could have been going through challenges. Uh, on the work floor or with your business from last week and it is going to be resolved in this week so nine of ones is also a lot of work a lot of work and it could be challenges work but you're going to be getting all of that off in this week tauruses now virgo you have the eight of winter the eight of winter is that you need to take charge of the situation okay Believe in yourself, Virgos, whatever is happening and transpiring. Take charge of the situation. Believe in yourself and know the power that you have. Okay. A lot of you Virgos are a lack of self-confidence. Okay. And that is what is keeping you from getting ahead in life. Your lack of self-confidence. And that is the reason why it's blocking you from getting ahead in life. So Virgos, you got to wake up at the eight of winters is as if you are not seeing why you are blocked. It's as if you Virgos are not believing in yourself and you need to have, um, take back a uh, self-control and um, self-confidence. You're lacking self-confidence and you need to keep um, getting, moving forward, okay? Listen, if you sit and you said, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. I really don't know. I don't want to try it and then it never work and that sort of a thing. Then that is what you're calling in. But if you say, listen, universe, I'm about to try something. If this was what I was meant to do or this was what was meant for me, then um, please, I'm asking you for help. And what is going to be transparent, Virgos, the Eight of Swords is that some of you were not seeing something what was going on. Uh, and all of a sudden, whatever that was blocking you is going to be um, resolved. And a lot of you Virgos have been worried about your contract. There is no need to worry, okay? The only person um, who needs to worry about the contract in this week is an Aquarian. And you you are on top of the game. So, um, heart sign people, who are you dealing with in this week? You're dealing um, with... Uh, you Virgos are going to be feeling this week. I see Capricorns. Um, you're not present in this week because you're listening to your own intuition and going within. But Virgos, you're really standing up in this week. And I see Taurus is going to be having some sort of a luck in this week. Um, um, all of you are going to be having some sort of a situation with contracts. And what I'm seeing is that Virgos, you're worried about your contract and you need not to worry. It's going to be okay. Um, so, you know, let that go. Then we're seeing some positive, um, positive information is going to be coming in, um, to you guys. And I see help in resolving a situation. Um, some of you are going to be dealing with, um, a situation with an Aquarian. Um, mm -hmm. it's like an Aquarian and some of you are going to be dealing with a Sagittarius. Now, an Aquarian, some of you could be really finding out that an Aquarian had holds some sort of a secrets that you're going to be ending or there was some sort of a secret contract that an Aquarian and a Sagittarian has created. You're going to be also ending this. Some of you, and especially you Tauruses, 
um, you Tauruses could have uh, um, created some sort of a secret contract with a Sagittarius and they found out and it's going to be ended. Either you are ending it or this contract is going to be ended by people uh, higher up. So it could be your boss. So be aware of this. So, so I love you guys. Um, please like and share and um, let me know how it went in this week. It is going to be a very lucky week for you. Um, you guys go back and listen to the monthly reading because the last week um, is coming up to be extremely, extremely lucky for you earth sign people. So um, be aware. So yeah, Capricorns, you have the energy of the moon and you know when the moon comes up, there's a lot of secrecy you could be finding out and resolving and helping the other earth sign. Um, Taurus is a whole lot of work this week. Uh, um, Virgos, you are having the energy of the eight of winter. This is information is going to be, um, you're going to be a lot of you Virgos. So you're going to be receiving information that you were not aware of. So this is good. I love you guys. Namaste until next time.